Hey ladies and gents, we are back with some STRV action. Uh, I am playing with Rommel and Death. Um, they're playing SU-130PMs. It's all tier 8 matchup. And this is one of those oddball games. And I've had, I think I have like 60 some thousand games. I've never had a game where I did this. Before I ever forget to tell you, sorry guys, I haven't been on for a while. And I might, depending on how everything goes, uh, I might be a little bit suspect about getting videos and stuff like that. My daughter had an accident, so we were doing uh, surgery and rehab and all kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, I just thought I would put out that as a public service announcement. So, uh, I've never had, like I said, 60-some thousand battles. I've never had um, a game where uh, I've got an invader and a defender all at the same time. Okay, so we pick up the stupid little wheelie. I'm going to put a couple shells out there because, you know, people like to hide in that bush right there. They like to hang out right there. And I'm always someone that if I got a fully loaded gun, fully loaded, um, I like to spam shells at places people like to sit. Oh, LT-432, what are you going to do, buddy? Oh, you're going to do it for me, aren't you? Yes! Oh, uh, 288 pen, doesn't matter how much. Yeah, you can fire at me all the way along. <laughs> you have that wimpy worthless little gun, so I'm not too worried about uh, taking shells here. However, I don't want to take an RD to the face. We're going to back out of there uh, and see what we can find there. There's the LT-432. He is still... I don't know if he forgot I was here or what. Uh, this is kind of one of those, everything just worked out perfectly. Yeah, there we go. Um, people died at the right times, and we also ended up with um, some players. I was like, eh, what are you doing? But hey, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. So everybody's pushing through here. I'm setting myself up here. Rommel's sitting there. Death is sitting there. Scorpion G pushed up a little too far. Uh, we're going to cover mid here. All right, so T44-100 spotted there. Now there is one, two, three, four tanks, plus artillery in the valley against the T34B. So the enemy uh, LT-432 apparently decided that his life wasn't worth it and simply just jumped in the water. Water. All right, so I'm moving up here because one, I got two TDs that I know for a fact will, of course, support me um, and whatever they're going to be doing here. It's Rommel and Death are both there just in case I get spotted by something. Oh, you little buggers. Uh, there is at least one more tank, light tank, left. And who knows how many TDs are hanging out back here. T54 Mod 1's have moved up there. Ooh, there's a Pershing. Uh, there's a Chariot here. Let's back this big. Come on, back up slowly. We are in siege mode. And we're going to get put into position here. Ooh, there we go. We hit the Chariot here for one. Can you get him again? Nope, he's running. He's behind the building. Doctor, Doc Thunder, what? I always get a kick out of names. It's like that's supposed to instill. Yes, there we go. There that little bugger is. Let's get one shot into him. He gets 506 out of the spotting for him. Oh, well, I got spotted here. Let's turn in a little bit here. Make ourselves a little bit smaller target. And I got some decent, uh, some decent uh, spotting on that deal here. Yep, show me your rear. There we go. Got the chair tier down to just a one shot. RHM. Now the, the valley still got four tanks in it, so I'm not terribly worried about that right now. And there also, also of course, there's a, a GW hanging out there. So checking everything out here. Come on, they're all pushing up on the T28. Scorpion G's is there as well. There's that T44. Um, ooh, what do we got here? Who does? Tango 20, STRV, and of course, Fear the Reaper. I'm really fearful right now. There's one shell into the strap. Oh, where are you going, buddy? And we'll just follow you, track you right on up into there. And that one went in too. <laughs> How do I know? Because there's no, there was no shell splash. Uh, yeah, so I did hit him twice. All right, so we have the T28 Proto, Scorpion G. The light tank's pulled back. Um, interesting. So the T34B on the other side uh, has... Kind of decimated. Ooh, finishes off the Wheezy 120. There we go. There's the T28 prototype. Kill Captain 123. Scorpion G. Ooh, he takes it to the face. There you go. Show me your side. Finishes off the T28 proto. And we are sitting 7 8. Not looking too shabby, right? T34B's in the, the um, 
Ooh, big hit by the GW Tiger P. And, of course, he's not supporting Valley, so it's probably the reason why we've lost two tanks on that line. Um, which is whatever. Uh, he nails that uh, Rhine metal, which is what we needed. So we're going to push on up in here. So the T44-100 has been hanging out there for a while. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put her in drive. And we're gonna just going to look around here a little bit here before I creep here. Of course, the STRV there, I don't never know. He could still be hanging out there, so we'll put one in there in case he was still hanging. T-34B is pushing on the other side. There's the STRV. Yep, 212 hit points left is all he's got. And we have kind of a stalemate in Valley. So I'm going to push around here. I know, so Rommel's like, yep, go spot him. So he's probably still sitting there, so that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to poke the corner. Pokey, pokey, poke. Oh, there he is. Disposable heroes. No, oh, 500 for his troubles. That's what you get for sitting on the corner there in the T-40 or 100. <laughs> I just don't get medium sometimes. You know, there's plenty of places for TDs, and the TDs are all over there fighting in town. Or along the edge of town. T-44-100 is still sitting there. Now, Indian Panzer has moved up. T-34B has moved up. And I'm guessing the E-4 has moved up here. So we're going to look back there and see how much health they got. A little bit. Time to move up here as well. Let's see if we can find that T-44 one more time. Come on. you got to be... You're, you're sitting there, right, buddy? Nope. He, uh, he figured it out. He's on the move. So we're going to roll to the back side here. And we're just going to pop the, pop the top here. Oh, there's a T-44. Put it in siege mode, see if I can get a shot into him. Nope. We're going to back out of that deal. Because I don't know where that uh, Udez is. Ah, now I know where that Udez is. Yeah, he's hanging out there. But, however, the T-44 got spotted. Uh, he's going to get pokey pokey here. We'll pick up another little bit more assist. Can we get another one, buddy? Can we get another one? Nope. That light tank's going to push in there. So we're going to kind of just creep this little corner a little bit here. Let's see if I can get a shot in on the T-44-100. GW finishes him off. And about that time, Valley looks like it's fucked. Like, literally. Yep, they're all dead. So, as much as I like to return the favor to the Udez, uh, we're going to have to do something about that Valley, because here they come. So, Rommel's going back. Artillery is moving as well. He's moving up the center road. Um... Yeah, I only got 579 health. Ah, that's 578 more than I need, right? I'm in a ninja tank. So, uh, Fear the Reapers finished off the Strep 21, or S1, I'm sorry. Um, and we're going to roll through here. I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to get back to those set of bushes here. I have Binox, I have Camel, um, and I have a super stealthy uh, ninja tank. So we're just going to roll out of here. I'm hopefully going to get over here before I get spotted. Which, luckily, I have, thankfully. And we're going to roll to the back side. M4043 on the other side finishes off uh, the our light tank. So it is a 1011 right now. Um, so it's our platoon and a artillery piece against the baddies. All right, let's get up into position here so I can do something here. Those are always a nice set of bushes right there. Ooh, there's the E4. Can I get into position? Yes, there we go. It worked out well. There's the E4. I got cover. Let's put one into there. We're going to back up here. There's the T34. We're going to get that E4 nailed as quick as we can. Boom, another one into him here. Oh. The Panzer picks up slapped by Rommel. And that leaves me here by myself. So, good thing I have this amazingly... Got 945 health left on the T34B here. We'll just back up here a little bit here. He's probably wondering who the fuck is shooting. It's all right here. We'll just put one in there as well. Back up again. Pull ahead. What do we got? He's still there. He probably has an idea where I'm at. Yeah, he's firing at bushes. Not going to do any good there. Ooh, there's the E4. I didn't quite figure this one out. Um, this isn't something I would have normally uh, did. Uh, actually, after the first time I got shot, I would have been pulling back as fast as I could here. And he's still in my view range. Yeah, we'll finish him off here as well. So we put it back to a 3-4. And there's the Udez in the middle. Of course he is. He's chasing the um, Tiger P. Ooh, didn't get a shot on him here. We're going to back up here in case I do get accidentally spotted. Um, I can should still be able to have some hard cover here. All right. Back up here. 
Come on. Show me your side. Yeah, oh, your butt's fine, too. We'll get some bullshit RNG there. And death finishes them off here. So we have a 2-3. Uh, they still have an artillery here. However, they do have both tanks. are not in a lot of health. Uh, death's about not have a whole lot of... Uh, wait, wait. Maybe death does. Death has about, not quite 50%. I'm sitting about 50%. So we do have a slight advantage here. However, we are TDs. So I'm kind of waiting here to see what happens. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that we're going to get uh, somebody on cap. This cap works every time for a reason. Um, I know where they're at. Yep, there we go. Both of them are on cap. 47 seconds left here. I'd be, I was kind of worried that the uh, artillery was going to start dropping shells here, but he doesn't, thankfully. There we go. Picks up the T-34B. Oh, let's back up a little bit here. Come on. Give me something to shoot at here. I could probably take his track here, but, you know, we have, uh, well, can we get that? We're going to back up a little further here. Let's see if we can pop that. Oh, goes to the side. Get a critical hit, though. All right, about that time, here comes death. Let's see if we, one more, ah, oh, come on, by now, if I was, this was my tank, I'd be fucked, because he would have nailed me three or four times by now, right through the cupola. But I'm not having much luck. There we go, death finishes him off. Um, 34B was too busy trying to keep his tank from, or his turret from turning, so death was able to sneak up there. All right, we have the Indian Panzer here. He's still on cap. Not quite sure if that's really a good thing but hey whatever let's pull up in here there's a bush right here as well he does have some gun depression oh never mind he's fucked he does no yep there we go greasing tracks with guts gotta love those things right never mind he's too busy looking at me death picks him up uh and we are sitting pretty two to one we have eight kills between the two of us and we are um yeah, like I said, sitting pretty here. So I ended up with just at 5,700 damage in the 1,910 spotting. However, I did reset the cap several times. So at this point, I had the defender. And uh, death is, of course, sitting with a chance at a high caliber here. So we're going to run to the base here. I thought about going valley as well. But I'm like, eh. You never know. My luck. Just about when I go to the valley here, and I got 579 health, that M44, which he could very well possibly do, uh, kill me. So Death's leading the way here. Uh, he's in a hurry. Uh, he was thinking the same thing I was thinking here. Maybe possibly he could pick up his uh, high caliber. So we got not quite two minutes. Plenty of time here to finish this cap off. We're going to roll in here. He's got sitting at 19% for uh, health. And I'm sitting at yeah, a little bit over half. So we pull in here. We've got 44, minute 57 till the battle ends here. So we're sitting there talking. I'm like, yeah. I said, you might want to try this. He said, There's probably, there might be a chance he's sitting there inside that, around the corner there. I said, you might as well go try to see if you can get your, hike, your uh, top gun. Uh, getting your six kills. So we're still capturing base here. He's like, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. He's, he's thinking maybe he could possibly either take him here or catch him going down the the valley here. So that's going to take off here shortly to see if he can pick up a um, top gun. We have the enemy base still captured. Uh, he's got about five, four, three seconds. There he goes. Now he's headed over there to see if he can pick up, like I said, pick up the, uh, nope, wasn't there. I think he's gonna. Then I think he went down and looked down the valley to see if he could see him, maybe possibly crest in the hill down there, uh, to pick up his uh, top gun, which is always a nice medal to get. Six kills is not always easy in this game to pick up six kills. So great game. Um, I always like the tight, close ones. It was kind of one of those screwy games where I didn't think that we were gonna win this because it just didn't end up being uh, something that was easy. I did get an ace tanker in this game as well. Uh, like I said, with a, with just uh, shy of 5,700 damage. So, thanks for the game, guys. Or thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game.